Here we go. There we are again, David. Looks just like you, us. Grandma's Buffet with David and Gray, guys. Show number six. We're on the way. We're going to try to reach a thousand in the next few years, but. I hope oh, so, David. Me. Yes, that's a long road to hoop. Oh, we can do it, buddy. I'm glad y'all tuned in with us today. We want to say hi to a couple of people there. Hey, Casey, glad you're watching. Jacob down in Wilmington, glad you're watching us. Guys, we're here to sell you some collectibles today, and we've got some sports memorabilia. That's right, some nice stuff, um, too, David. Yeah, we'll start off with sports and, uh, and some really nice stuff, great prices. Let us remind you, if this is your first time watching us, guys, one of a kind items. We don't have multiples of these things, do we? Right. David, these are um, one of a kind, just like us, just like PSN. Just like PSN, right. we're one of a kind. Well, we want to find homes for this stuff, is what the boss man said, right. David. We've got to find homes for it, and that's what our collectibles, want to our give sound a, shop, and yeah, everything. Give a shout out to all the uh, other pawnbrokers out there in the, in the United States and around, wherever you're watching us from. We, uh, we hope you're enjoying this and what we're trying to do to promote the pawn industry, and and show everybody that they can trust pawnbrokers. Oh, yeah. we, are, we are business people that are out here to help. And right now, we're going to help build your collection of sports memorabilia. That's right. Well, David, this is unique PSN, this new endeavor we've started. We buy, David. We want to tell everybody that. We buy your stuff. So give us right. a call, 1-844-641-PON. You can actually talk to a live pawnbroker. They're waiting guys, for you today. We buy and sell. Yes, sir. I believe the, the boss man's the in there again. And he is today, too, guys. You can talk to our, our owner, Mr. Kenny Barnes. He's, he's manning the phones today also. But let's get started, Greg. That's right. Well, Dave, this is kind of unique. We've got some uh, posters here of Mr. Babe Ruth. Mm-hmm. And now he did not play. We're talking about Mr. Gary Cooper. He played Mr. the Gary part Cooper. of Lou Gehrig in a movie. But it looks like he's in the Yankee uniform right. in Yankee Stadium. But this is actually Gary Cooper with the babe. Now, the babe right. is up in age here, but he's there during the filming of the movie. So it is Lou Gehrig playing Gary Cooper. Right. But we've also got... Oh, Gary Cooper playing Lou Gehrig. Yeah. But this is Mr. Mickey who? Mantle. Mickey Mantle. Now, he did play for right. the Yankees. So kind when of I was young there. and you were playing baseball well, out in the yard, Every, everybody wanted to be Mickey Mantle at right. the plate. You know, I'm Mickey Mantle, and then you go hit you a get home run. a shot run. of that, David. See if Mr. Ethan yeah. can give us a shot. Ethan, you the working today? Yeah, Wake up working. over there. He's with us, I guarantee you. By the way, guys, we want to mention our Look our set there. here. We're in, by the magic of television. We're back again in downtown Bladenboro, Pond USA. I mean, Pond South. <laughs> Did I do that? Yeah. But we're oh all in the Bridgers building, David. Guys, it was good being here with you, yeah. and I'll see you somewhere yeah. down the road. But item 3812, Dave, 1495, so everybody's budget, David. Give us a call or right. go on PondSouth.com. In good condition to be the They're real good too. condition, David. The Mickey Mantle the picture was dated back in 1959. Uh, you remember then? The date on, is there a date on the other picture there, Gray? It was... Uh, David, I didn't see one. Mm-hmm. There's Mr. But Mickey that was the Mantle. making of a movie. What, do you remember, recall the name of that movie? Could it, it have been The Gipper? No, it was The Pride of the Yankees. The Pride of the Yankees? I know it was yeah, one of them. Pride of the Yankees. They were making that movie when, when this photograph was taken of Babe Ruth. Mantle and, uh, was in 1959. They think that the uh, Gary Cooper stuff was maybe in the 30s, David. That had been a while. Probably. Yeah, it's been a while. That's right. Been well, that's item number one there number here one. on Grandma's Buffet with David and Gray. Item number two, we're going to get into a little basketball here, guys. If you're a fan of the Philadelphia 76ers, mm -hmm. we've got a, uh, a beer tap lever. The uh, 76ers, it actually looks to be their old logo. David, that is the old emblem. This is when they played in the Spectrum. This is when uh, Maurice Cheeks, Moses Malone, uh, Dr. Dr. J, J, all yeah, those Julie guys. Serving. Uh, Darryl Daw those guys right there, this is the old emblem of the 76ers, but it is a beer tap, light beer. But the Philadelphia 76ers, right. David, some history there. They won a championship there. there they're too. off to a rough start this year, though, guys. I think they're two and three in the season. Right. And, and let me tell you, the Raptors beat them Tuesday night, 125 to 89. Oh, David, that's on yeah. some of our old scores. That's a that's a score from uh, the books there. 125 points in the NBA game. There's been many of them like that, but you don't see it all the time. Well, David, it was over before it, it was, began. That's exactly right. Let's go to camera number two and get a, get a close up shot. See if he can give us. Look at there. Get my big Man, that boy the is way. on the ball today. Well, Dave, I'll, 
item number 3818, yeah. 49.95. Again, not too much, right. but a nice little beer tap. Philadelphia tap. 76ers, they're coached the by Coach Brett Brown. And like right. I said, off to a little shaky season this year, guys. But if you're a fan, this would go great in your man cave. All right. Well, David, back then they were not shaky when, when this was probably out. They were a great team. Got a little threaded part right there, David, where you put it on there, but right. nice little item, especially for item number 30 Item number 3818, guys, the beer tap is... Uh, is going today for forty nine ninety five. It's our item number thirty eight eighteen. That's right. What and now, next? this is unique. That is neat, guys. We've got an autograph football here. It was autographed by Lou Holtz, who was the coach at that time of the South Carolina Gamecocks. Right. And we do need a close up of this because this is a great looking football. Yeah, well, David, I believe it's got the Gamecock on there. Leather ball with their emblem on it. Looks great. Lou Holtz's autograph is on the back, guys. It's got, he, he wrote the autograph to a gentleman named Eric Johnson. I've seen that. But Holtz's uh, autograph is on the back of that one. We're going to try to get a close-up here if we can wake our cameraman up. Yep. Item 3820, $79.95. But nice out there. there. Go. Good shot. Mm -hmm. I mean, you wait, David, and there it is. But David Lou Holtz, right. now he's got some North Carolina ties. We saw where he coached different places, yeah. but at NC State he was there. In 2001 and 2002, they were the Outback Bowl champions. That's right. That, I think that's the, the football was, was from that, that time. So football was from back when they won the Outback Bowl. And right. They won it in two years, 2001. And Lou Holtz, he, he, he coached back in the 70s at NC State. All right. He was a great coach, but he coached at NC State from 1972 to 75, Gray. He went on to go into a professional football career with the Jets. I saw that. And, the uh, yeah, then he coached at Arkansas, Minnesota, Notre Dame, USC, and f he was at University of South Carolina probably till his retirement. But in 2005, they got in a little bit of trouble and put on probation. Yeah, that happens from time to time. It David. happens but a nice lot. nice item, 79.95, 3820, 30, David. We'll give that back to you. We got another autograph item Sean, coming up yeah. too, Grace. Ken Griffey who? Ken Griffey Jr. Okay, yes. I remember him. He hit some home runs, him. didn't he, David? He was also referred to a lot as Junior and the kid back then, Ken Griffey. His dad was a great ball player in the earlier years. Um, Autograph baseball with a certificate of authenticity. Very good, David. Yeah. I was going to help you with that. You yeah. Cer that. Certificate of authenticity. Yeah, you got it. Don't, don't try to we, say it here, twice. you hold it there. Let's give a put good shot there. of that in that case with Mr. Ken Griffey, Jr. And Ken Griffey, Jr., he, he actually played 22 years in the majors. Yep, there Yeah, he hit a total of 630 home runs. He was an outfielder, and like I said, they always referred to him as Jr. or either, right. uh, or either the kid. But David, he wasn't a kid if he hit six Good ball player, first-round draft pick. I was still in high school. 1987 he come out, but he was a first-round draft pick. But he's a great player. Uh, didn't have many injuries, but 38-14, right. 189.95 here and this on is PSN. A, actually a Pepsi commemorative. If you want to turn it Just around, Gray, it it's, it's got some engraving there on mm -hmm. the front. Uh, there's your certificate of authenticity. Yep. And David said that again. I'm so I proud did. of him. We rehearsed that. But 189.95, David, a little bit of history there. If you were big like the Seattle Mariners, some of those guys, King Griffey Jr. was a good player. He was a great ball player, guys. And if you're a baseball fan, that's for you. 189.95 is our number 3814. Sounds a little drastic for a price, guys, but if you know what the autograph memorabilia cost, you know what, what it is. Well, David, too, we would take a little less, people. Hey, give us a call. If you're That's interested what we like in to that do. baseball, guys, give us a call right now. See what we'll take. Talk to Mr. Kenny Barnes. If he doesn't answer that phone, you ask for him. Mm -hmm. And you tell him you want to buy that. That's right. Tell him you want to buy it and make him an offer. I'm sure that somebody's going to be very happy at the end of the day. Yes, sir. Today we've got some cards this here is with, cool. with a little bit of North Carolina <laughs> history again. These are cool, Michael guys. Michael Jordan. We've got some Michael Jordan cards, but they're not basketball cards, guys. We've got a set of six. One, two, three, four, five. Is it six or seven cards we have here, Greg? Seven, I believe, David. Lucky seven. We've got seven cards of the era when Michael Jordan was actually playing baseball for the Chicago White Sox. Mm -hmm. We've got seven of his cards, all in great condition. Well, new condition, probably. They're still in the original cases that they were put in. 
And uh, they get a little shot on camera, two of yeah. those. 1995, David. And everybody That's knows the history on Jordan. Great basketball player, oh, guys. Really? And he retired from basketball. I think it was shortly after his father was killed. Yep. Retired from basketball, went on to be a, a, a baseball player. He actually played in Major League Baseball, guys. That's a, oh, yeah. another two sport. 37.93, Dave, is our item number, 1995, for an old Tar Heel. And I like the Tar Heels myself. That's but right. Jordan was a Tar Heel. He played for Dean Smith years ago. Yep. Anyway, guys, that's our last item on the first show here. We're glad you tuned in with us. We hope you'll be back with us in a few minutes. But all you guys out there watching, we appreciate it. Tell your friends about us. We'll be on tomorrow night on Spectrum Cable also at 8 p.m. But uh, give us a call. Make us an offer on these items, and we'll be back with some more in, what, about 10 minutes? At least. Sound shopping's coming yeah, up. Yeah, sound shopping's coming up, guys. Nice musical instruments with Alma and Gray. Stick around. We'll see you. We're gone. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.